It's one of my New Year's resolutions, and uh, I always like to at least start the year off with a couple of good resolutions. Anytime I feel myself getting sick or anything, I just know it's imperative to go raw, and that's how I've raised my kids. They know as soon as they get sick, okay, you've been eating quite a lot of cooked or processed food. A number one thing to improve their diet, I would say, to increase the amount of raw organic food that you consume. In doctors today, they tend to be more uh, coming in after there's already a problem. They don't tend to be preemptive. But then when I started reading Gabriel Cousins' books, it just blew my mind so wide, you know, because he is such a scientist. He's taken so, whatever, 30 years studying this stuff and understanding the importance of enzymes and the importance of the right constitution of fats and proteins. And, you know, he, he really understands exactly what's going on with your body when he looks at you and he, and he reads the, your, you know, he looks at your blood and does all kinds of analysis. He understands what's going on with you. And so, in my mind, he's the greatest probably living health practitioner. One of the big maxims from Hippocrates father of modern medicine was let medicine be thy food, let food be thy medicine, medicine thy food. That was the quote from him. But you're going to have to learn to make and love a good salad, maybe make some good salad dressing. It does help. It's the natural way to eat. If you were in nature, that's why you don't see uh, osteoporosis and all these forms of cancer in animals other than our pets. The number one way that change gets made is by example. People see other people. That's why every person, every person in this room, every person watching this is a light to their friends. I've seen it do amazing things.